Yeah, we have a lot of exciting things going on in Indiana, and I'm always so proud of our state educators, students, our, our leaders, um, and my team, especially at the DOE, but, but there's a great momentum in Indiana about um, moving digital learning and, and student-centered learning ahead. So we have a lot of programs that we try to wrap around that movement. So we have our rock stars of curation. I think I spoke with you about that before. Teachers from all of our state that we bring together to curate great digital content for our teachers to use. So that's really important. We have a huge push on digital citizenship. So we have a Indiana's Digital Citizenship Week every September. We build out curriculum for people to share. We have Twitter chats around it, webinars. So, you know, all these are pieces of under that blended learning. One of the things that really helped that idea take off for many districts was we have e-learning days, which what that is is it's the opportunity for a student and a teacher to interact digitally from home, but still be counted as one of our 180 mandatory days of instruction. So that has been a big change. It helps when we have bad weather. We recently had flooding in Indiana. And, and lots of other reasons, students will stay home. They're developing great skills around time management, using digital tools, being creative on their own. Teachers are learning the things that they do in class for blended learning. They're then applying those on a day when, you know, the teacher may be at home with her cup of tea and her pajamas, but interacting with her students online. So that's been a big deal for us, a program. And then two final programs that really are new to us. One is in cybersecurity. Um, our state lawmakers realize that is, you know, something as we're all living and learning in this digital space, we have to be very attentive to digital so cybersecurity. So we had some funding given to my team under the leadership of Dr. John Keller, and we are putting together um, some support, some resources, some capacity building for our districts around cybersecurity. So we've also um, starting a uh, pilot for phishing, a lot of people click on that wrong thing in an email, so we're putting that together so districts will be able to, um, you know, help instruct their staff around that. So that's a big one. And then um, finally, we started a course access catalog, which is um, a place where we went out and through a vetting system and a lot of assurances found some excellent online providers. And then we're asking schools, we put this together in a catalog, and schools can then work in high school with a student that maybe wants to take Mandarin, but they, that district can't afford or have the, uh, you know, to be able to bring a Mandarin teacher in, but they can go through our course access and find these um, providers that are doing that. But it's all been, you know, we, we vetted everybody, there's assurances, so people can feel good about sending a student through that. So that's a lot of stuff going on in Indiana, but it's good stuff.